Supermarkets are one of the fastest growing commercial property sectors. IPD, in association with agent Bryant Champion Long, has launched its first ever supermarket report to chart this market. The report found that supermarkets outperformed IPD's UK quarterly index last year, generating returns of 7.9% compared with 7.8% across all property. IPD recorded an investment volume of £1.2 billion last year, made up of 56 transactions, with an average net initial yield of 4.7%. Greg Mansell says that the growth in supermarkets prompted IPD to launch the report. Oh, well, yeah, this is the first year we've ever done a supermarkets report, and really it's the first opportunity we've had. I mean, uh, we're talking about how it's been uh, such a fast-growing segment. I mean, we've really got a critical mass in our sample where uh, we can analyse it uh, on its own before we've lumped it in with uh, the rest of retail. Uh, and really it's got to a point where we can pull it out and, and look at it in, in much further detail. Uh, and it reflects uh, investor interest as well. There's a lot of appetite uh, for data in this area, so really it's a reaction to that. Retailers themselves sold around 60% of product last year in sale and leaseback deals, with Tesco involved in £700 million worth of deals and Sainsbury's selling around £200 million worth of stock. Strong tenant covenant and long leases attracted buyers last year. Around 80% of purchasers were institutions, with propcos and private individuals also involved, especially in sub £20 million deals. James Watson says the case for buying supermarkets is compelling. It is a very attractive story, uh, we think. Um, the risk return profile is difficult to beat anywhere else. Uh, you're typically off four and a half, five percent for 20 to 25 year income from the best covenants in the market. Your income is linked to RPI. That's a pretty compelling story if you're looking at the equities market. Who knows what's going to happen to that? Uh, savings rates at half a point. You know, it's a bit of a no-brainer as far as uh, we, we're concerned.